the day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Friday, September 16, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Kansas City Royals vs Boston Red Sox. I see the Red Sox showing up at home in this game. They have been seeing the ball great over the last few weeks and I see that trend continuing in this one. They are currently scoring the 8th most runs per game and they have the 4th highest overall team batting average. They will consistently reach base throughout this game and give themselves multiple chances to score. The Red Sox are also hitting .98 home runs per game, as I wouldn't be surprised if they hit one or two in this game. Boston will also start Michael Wacha on the mound, as he has been a beast this season. He is 11-1 on the year with a 2.69 ERA, as I see the Royals struggling at the plate in this one. Kansas City is only scoring the 24th most runs per game and they are hitting the third least amount of home runs. Wacha will keep them off the base paths and the scoreboard for the majority of this game, which will allow the Red Sox to pull away. Now, I don't trust Jonathan Heasley either. He has been horrible in his last few starts and he has a 5.51 ERA this season. The Red Sox will tee off on him early, which will allow them to consistently score throughout this game. The Red Sox are the better team and they have the pitching advantage in this one. Our team pick is. Boston Red Sox minus 1.5 runs. Jonathan Heasley has a 5.51 ERA, 1.57 whip. Opposing batters are hitting .276 against him this season. He will take on a good Boston offense. The Red Sox are top 10 in the league in runs, hits, RBIs, batting average, OBP, SLG, and Ops. Xander Bogertz is top 5 in the league in batting average and 7th in OBP. Boston will hit Heasley and score a lot of runs. The over will hit in this contest. Chicago White Sox vs Detroit Tigers. It has been a trying year full of injuries, controversies and change for the Chicago White Sox. And yet, here they stand, just a few games out of first place, and very much in the hunt with just 16 games left in the season. The White Sox cannot afford any losses against also Rands like Detroit at this point with a three-game deficit to the Guardians. The White Sox have one more series against Cleveland starting on Tuesday at home. Meanwhile, in a brief one-game makeup on Thursday afternoon against the Guardians, Lance Lynn went 6.1 innings and gave up six hits and two runs to pick up a critical win for the Sox. Chicago belted five home runs in the 8-2 win and now sit three games back of the Guardians. Unlike the White Sox, the Tigers will not be spending their final three weeks battling for a playoff spot. The only battle the Tigers may have is the avoidance of last place in the Isle Central Division. Detroit is but assured of a top five draft pick in next year's amateur MLB draft and the team could use all the help they can to stockpile the organization with young talent. Detroit comes into this series losers of four straight games and seven of their last ten games. It is truly now or never for the White Sox and they will need a series win, if not sweep in this series before the start of Tuesday's home series against the Guardians. There is a lot to like about Chicago on Friday night. Despite his recent issues, Gilito has pitched fairly well against Detroit and simply has the advantage of facing their porous lineup. The White Sox lineup has started to heat up at the perfect time. They have hit 17 home runs in their last 10 games and key players like Yon Moncada and Eloy Jimenez have heated up over the last 10 games and late season pickup, Elvis Andrus has been outstanding in place of injured all-star SS Tim Anderson. Andrus has 6 home runs and 17 RBI in his last 15 games. The Sox are in desperation mode, while the Tigers are in golfing mode, I'm backing the hungry Sox in this one. They are also 10-3 against Detroit on the season. White Sox minus 1.5 runs. Chicago will go with right-hander Lucas Yolito for game one of this road set. He allowed three runs with six punch-outs across six frames on Friday in a no decision against the Athletics in his last appearance. Yolito gave up a pair of base hits before a run would come in on a ground out in the first inning. He settled in for three scoreless innings before the Athletics brought two more runs in to score in the fifth. He ended up getting the quality start after pitching the fifth in a promising start for the fledgling righty. 
the 28-year-old will bring a bloated 5.1 ADRA, 1.49 whip, and 153 strikeouts across 139 innings into this favorable matchup against one of the weaker lineups in the majors. Detroit entered this season with high expectations after they put together a promising 2021 season when they finished 77-85. They were hoping to approach the .500 mark this year, but it has been an outright disaster. They are 54-89 coming into this game and have been embarrassing from the dish. But, they have held their own from the mound considering how bad they have been from the plate. Matt Manning is a quality starter and has been excellent through the month of August into September. I expect the White Sox to win this game, but not without a fight from the Tigers. These teams know each other well, so anticipate a low-scoring battle. Take the under with confidence. Our total pick is under the total. Pittsburgh Pirates vs New York Mets. Pittsburgh has been one of the worst teams in the MLB this season, which made its four-game winning streak earlier this week that much more surprising. The Pirates had not even won back-to-back -back games since mid-August before putting together those four wins at Cincinnati, and they had only won four of their 20 games before that series. They were unable to maintain that momentum on Thursday, getting dominated in the opener. Pittsburgh is on a 10-game road trip that will conclude with two games against the Yankees next week. The Pirates have already been eliminated from playoff contention and have the second-worst record in the NL. New York was in desperate need of a win on Thursday, but it cannot afford to let up on Friday night. The Mets once held a sizable lead in the NL East before Atlanta stormed back into contention, eventually taking over solo first place last week. New York has regained control since then, but it lost three consecutive games to the Cubs at home earlier this week. The Mets were able to snap that skid on Thursday night, while Atlanta had the day off. They are now one game ahead of the Braves in the standings heading into Friday's slate, the teams will meet for a three-game series in Atlanta at the end of the month. The Mets have been a strong offensive team this season, ranked fifth in the majors with an average of .258. Second baseman Jeff McNeil leads the way with 151 hits, while shortstop Francisco Linder has 149 hits. First baseman Pete Alonso has added 146 base knocks, including 35 home runs. They are facing a Pittsburgh pitching staff that is number 26 with an ERA of 4.63. Right-handed pitcher Taewin Walker is going to start for New York on Friday. He allowed one run on five hits while striking out 10 in seven innings against Miami on Sunday. Walker had been dealing with a blister on his right index finger leading up to the start, but it did not seem to be an issue. He has a 3.56 ERA and 1.25 whip in 30.1 innings over his last six appearances. New York is obviously the better team in this matchup, but there is no way the Mets should be a minus 250 favorite. They have not dealt with the NL East pressure well so far, losing three shocking games to Chicago just this week. Pittsburgh, meanwhile, won four straight games over Cincinnati earlier this week, so the Pirates are arguably playing their best baseball of the season. Keller is in outstanding form too, not allowing a run to cross the plate in his last 13 innings. The Pirates have won five of their last seven road games, and I am happy to back them at this price. Our team pick is Pirates plus 210. Mitch Keller has struggled this season according to his baseball saving page as he is in the 15th percentile in whiff percentage. Hitters are making solid contact off of him as he has an 88.5 mph average exit velocity. Keller throws five different pitches with three pitches, being thrown at least 20% of the time. Our total pick is 7.5 runs.